there is another area of responding to student work in the form of feedback is electronic feedback and it's only possible when you encourage students to send their work via email or um, in the form of uh, i mean google drive or some other means of submitting online work so electronic feedback refers to the feedback which is not written in the form of a pen rather it's used um, rather it's given in making the use of computers or other online sources so there are various approaches of using uh, electronic feedback the first one is the word microsoft word or word processing functions so microsoft word can allow teachers give feedback on student multiple drafts and it can also help um teacher to focus on not only the global errors but also the local errors by global i mean the content organization and argument development and local refers to the mechanics and grammatical accuracy there is one option of tracking changes which if it's switched on then the changes are indicated in the word process so in this way we can make additions or deletions additions can be helpful for the students and they can uh, notice the deletions as well so and tracking changes has the option to allow students whether to accept the feedback or reject it i mean it it actively it re it requires active response on the behalf of the students so then another approach is the comment approach where you can switch on commenting box and then add helpful suggestions reformulations or raise questions draw attention towards paragraph towards the use of article towards the use of punctuation towards the use of overall argument another way is the font color so you can use the color which you want maybe red can signal to some serious mistakes or errors blue can um, some um, errors with some flexibility so it can invite students to respond to the uh, feedback in a desired manner then there is the use of hyperlink which is uh, which refers to small concordance i mean in the language in the discourse of corpus linguistics it refers to concordance there is a website which is tom cobb's website which uses hyperlinks so you can insert hyperlinks to draw attention towards the online sources available which the students can compare well ap apart from these approaches it's important that we balance our electronic feedback by balancing i mean the feedback which is given um, both as a praise and criticism so teachers need to work out a balance and uh, this balance requires working out the knowledge the learners need to improve their writing i mean uh, to develop their awareness of writing conventions i by balancing electronic feedback with the written feedback or the oral feedback it's important that we invite students when we give electronic feedback we invite students to come to us or sit in the classroom and discuss discuss what has already been given and negotiate it and improve further 